Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Holder Hack channel. I'm gonna do one of my many uh, streaming tutorials today. I've recently been messing with my microphone settings. I have a uh, Quadcast Hyper X. Uh, it's not a, you know, like super fancy microphone by any means, it's just a little USB microphone, but I've messed with some settings and I think, you know, you guys can at least here that it's you know it's pretty good you can make it even make it sound pretty good so we're going to be going through uh stream labs um obs and i'm going to show you the settings that i have for this thing so you can make your microphone uh, sound like this microphone i feel like any uh, usb microphone can be made to sound like this more or less uh, as long as you know you don't you don't need any kind of crazy quality or anything so we're just going to go over those settings really quick and then uh, you'll have a decent sounding microphone so Let's jump into it, guys. So the first thing I want to do is just specifically talking about the HyperX microphone here. Um, if your microphone has settings that are similar to this, then you can basically copy this. But since this is my microphone, this is what we're going to be using. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is on the very end here, you have a dial. This is going to basically adjust the gain and how loud the microphone picks up. I always have this on the very lowest setting because I'm a very loud person. And I also try to keep the mic pretty close to my face most of the time. So having this thing up really high is just going to distort your sound quality and not make it very good. Uh, beyond that, I don't know if I can show you, but I will. I will put up a. Uh, I will put up an image so it helps. But on the back of this microphone here, you're going to have um, a little dial that has four different sound settings. Um, it's stereo sound, omnidirectional sound, uh, cardioid sound, and bidirectional sound. So I'll put up a picture again. You're gonna to wanna to put that on cardioid. That's gonna give you the best like podcast kind of sound. It's also gonna negate any sort of sounds you're making typing or anything that the, you know, room is making. Uh, so it's gonna be just the best for picking up your voice and nothing else, which if you're here and you're watching this video, that's what you're trying to do. Okay guys, these are my specific Streamlab settings. You can ignore 90% of this stuff. The only thing we're gonna be worrying about is the microphone. If you've got yours plugged in and you added it as a source, when you talk, it should move. That'll let you know at the very least it's working. Now we're gonna make your microphone sound like this microphone. So we're gonna hit this little cog wheel right here. We're gonna go to filters. We're gonna go to edit filters. So you see I've added four specific filters in here. I have a noise gate, a compressor, a noise suppression, and a limiter. I'm gonna tell you the exact settings to copy so you don't even have to think about it and yours will sound like this. Noise gate, we're gonna put that close threshold to 35, the open threshold to 30, attack time to one, hold time to 200, and release time 150. Now on to the compressor. Ratio at a four, threshold at a 25, uh, negative 25, attack at a one, release 50, output gain zero, ignore sidechain ducking. Noise suppression. If you have a good computer, put it on RNN. If you have a bad computer, put it on Speaks. But the difference is truly negligible. And then limiter. This is the only thing that I'm really going to go into. So limiter is really nice if you like to get loud on stream, if you like to yell. Uh, this thing prevents your sound from becoming so loud it peaks out your microphone and cuts it off. So I put mine in at negative 10. Um, this one you can kind of play with, but negative 10 should work for most people because I'm a really loud dude. And if this works for me, probably going to work for you. And then also release of 50. Hey guys, that's it. Hope this has been a helpful tutorial for you. I've messed with my sound settings for a while to make sure that they sound, you know, good when I'm trying to make any content or do any live streaming. Speaking of live streaming, you know, if you'd like to check me out, I'm on Twitch eight days a week. Uh, you should go there and, and do that because I'm funny and you should subscribe here too because I make a video like at least once every six months and you should be ready for the next one. I'll catch you guys later. Until then, bye. -bye.